Hi everybody, welcome to another card making video. Today I'm going to show you how I made this fun cat card. For this card I used a balloon stencil that I cut with my electronic cutting machine. The file for that stencil is available on my blog for free. You can find the link in the description. So let me show you how I made this card. Ben je Nederlands? Er is ondertiteling beschikbaar. First I start with coloring my images. I use Copic markers and I place the cap with the color number I'm using on the left of the paper. These kitties are from the Meow You Doing stamp set from Lanfan. If you want to skip watching me color, you can skip to the time that pop ups on the screen now. You can also find the clickable time link in the description. When I'm done coloring, I go over the inner lines with my black fine liner. I do this because I find that the lines become a bit dull after coloring. To finish the images off, I'm adding details with my white gel pen. I die cut the images off screen. Next up is ink blending the background. The stencil that I designed are actually three stencils with balloons in different shapes and sizes. This is one of the stencils. I've cut it out of acetate so I can easily reuse it. But you could also use paper. I also saved the shapes that were cut out so I can use them as masks. I do that later on in the video. I've cut a small slimline with one of the Carline Design slimline dies out of watercolor paper. I place the stencil and I use the cat stamps to position the balloon. When I'm happy where it is, I use purple tape to mask everything off so I don't ink blend outside of the balloon. I use Distress Oxide in the color Lucky Clover for the first balloon. I like using a blending brush when I work with stencil so I have a little more control. Mm -hmm. 
When I'm done, I peel off the tape. I clean off the stencil with a moist cloth and I make sure it's dry before I continue with the next balloon. I'm using the same method like with the first balloon. I make sure the balloons aren't aligned at the same height so the overall look will be playful. For this balloon I use Distress Oxide in the color Mustard Seed. I'm placing the last balloon a little higher. For this one I'm using Mode Lawn. Now I'm going to work on the clouds for the background. I'm doing this with the Lanfang Cloud Stencil and Distress Oxide Worn Lipstick. I'm placing the matching masks on the balloons and sticking them down with some purple tape. I'm using some purple tape to be sure my background isn't moving. I'm going in really soft by adding the ink to the stencil first. Since it's a slim line and my stencil won't reach all the way across, I'm stopping at the middle balloon. Now I'm doing the same on the other side of the balloon. I'm making another two layers of clouds. Be sure that you stop in time so you can continue the stencil in a right way. To finish the blending off, I'm going around the edges with not too much ink on my brush. I'm also going in on the clouds a little bit. Off screen I'm adding the mask again with a very small piece of purple tape. This way I can splatter some picked raspberry on the background without adding splatters to my balloons. To finish off the balloons, I'm adding white accents with the use of the stencil and Memento Lux wedding dress and adobo. I'm stamping the sentiment wishing you a possum day in the left bottom corner. I'm doing this with just a regular black ink. Now to assemble my card, I'm first adhering the panel to the white card base. I'm being careful that I don't go over the white accents with my finger since that ink is a little slow drying. Now the only thing left to do is adhering the kitties on their balloons.
And with that, my card is finished. This card is great with any kind of critter sets you have. Anything can be cute on a balloon. Like I said before, the stencil cutting file is available for free on my blog, so be sure to check the link in the description. I'm curious to see what you are going to make with it. If you like my video, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to receive notifications when a new video is up. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye!